Uh, now the final method that we're going to look at is direct distance entry uh, and direct distance entry for this one uh, will activate our dynamic input. So if you don't have that on your status bar, remember if you click these three lines here, that brings up the customize option uh, and dynamic input is just there uh, and you just select that and it will appear. So if I turn that off, it disappears. If I turn it back on again, it reappears. So we've got that uh, in place. So we turn that on. That's our dynamic input. Uh, now we're getting a bit tired of drawing I beams, so we're going to draw something else now. Just going to use the line tool for this. Uh, just a typical cross section of uh, a piece of uh, material that we're going to use. So when we use the direct distance method, uh, we pick an arbitrary start point. Uh, if we want to, we could pick a specific point if we wanted to, but we're just going to pick an arbitrary start point. Now you'll notice what's changed about the cursor. If I turn the dynamic input off, uh, so I've just got a line and my crosshair. If I turn it on, I've got uh, a line uh, with some other information attached. So you can see highlighted in blue there at the moment, uh, as I extend my line, that number gets bigger and smaller. So that's the length of our line. And then grayed out just below my crosshair, we've got a uh, zero degree symbol. You've also got the instruction there to specify the next point or if you hit the down button on your keyboard uh, you get other options that are available so we can undo so we could undo that position if we didn't want to so we're quite happy with what we're what we're doing uh, so we'll, we'll undo that. So uh, if we want to produce uh, this next uh, drawing uh, we want our first line to be 150 mil long so we type in 150 on the keypad or on the uh, numbers above the keyboard it's normally easy to just use the keypad especially if you're uh, right handed and uh, it's a very small movement of the hand to get to there uh, now we've set the length of the line at 150 mil uh, what we want now want to do is uh, set the angle so it's a little bit like the polar uh, coordinate system in that we're setting a length and an angle uh, but we're just kind of doing it uh, without having to mess around with other commands on the keyboard and again as time goes on you might find that this is uh, the best way of, of doing all of this um, it, it's just really down to personal preference this is quite a quick method of doing it if you like uh, so it's entirely up to you which method you use whatever your quickest at that's the one that you'll you'll naturally gravitate to uh, so to get from here uh, the length to here to specify the angle if I hit the tab key on my keyboard uh, we've now uh, set the length, so that's 150 mil. so notice it doesn't matter where I move my crosshair, uh, it's staying at the same length and that little uh, padlock sign next to the number indicates that that's locked. If, you just, if you've got that wrong and you want to change it, you just press tab again and you'll go back to the length and you can change it, but we're quite happy with that at the moment. Now I want this to be 0 degrees, so if I hit 0 and enter, uh, that line is now 150 mil long and 0 degrees from that point. So again this now just takes uh, its values from that last point that you've placed. So again, it's it's very similar to the polar coordinate system in that we're not relying on the uh, absolute coordinate system. So if we uh, now want to come up by 100 mil uh, straight up, so we've got 100, hit tab, we want that to be 90 degrees. So that line is 100 mil long uh, and it's perpendicular to that line, it's coming up at 90 degrees and uh, you can see they're moving your mouse in the direction it gives it pretty much the value that you can kind of eyeball it if you like get it into roughly the position you want it to be uh, this next line is going to be 20 mil long uh, at an angle of 180 uh, now we'll just demonstrate what happens when you change the angle on this so at this point uh, we're going to go uh, a length of 20 again and what I want is I want this to come up uh, by uh, 60 degrees so I want this to be 60 degrees from here to here uh, now you'll notice that on the uh, angle value that's coming out at 120 because of course from there around to there is 180 degrees so this is going to be uh, 120 so I could get that pretty much spot on just by doing that uh, again if you're dealing with smaller angle it's quite tricky but if I just hit enter now uh, then that is 20 degrees, uh, sorry, 20 mil at 120 degrees. So again, we can just pull uh, for the next point. We can come across here. Uh, we've got a length of 90. 
uh, at 180 degrees so that's good I don't even need to press tab now because we've already got 180 degrees specified there by my crosshair which is nice uh, and now we come down here again we're going to make this symmetrical so we'll go 20 mil and make that 120 and then we're coming across here 20 mil at 180 now again I could just hit C and it would close that C space and it would close that up uh, I could use the snap function because the snap uh, is activated uh, but again just to, for the sake of completeness uh, this line uh, needs to be 100 mil long at an angle of uh, 90 again so I put 90 in there Enter. so that's good so you notice I didn't need to put minus 90 in that time either or 270 uh, because uh, it can see from where I'm moving my mouse what I'm trying to do uh, so again that might you might find that a little bit easier uh, as you progress with this so we will now uh, finish that drawing so if I hit uh, escape that will complete uh, that little section there uh, that we've created so four different methods uh, you will use all of them at some point uh, it's good to familiarize yourself with all of the different methods uh, because sometimes you might just need to uh, change from your favorite one to, to one that to, you don't normally use so it's a good idea to be familiar with all of them uh, so thank you very much for watching this video as always if you've got any feedback please let me know uh, and we look forward to seeing you uh, on the next video thanks very much bye